Hi, in this video I will show you quickly how um, Cloud for Dentist is structured and works. Um, we go through uh, the calendar, reception, and then uh, all the clinical part uh, of the patient. So let's start. Let's go to calendar. And let's say we need to book an appointment um, for one of the patients. So there are two ways. One is to click uh, an available slot uh, for the patient, yeah, and search the patient here. Or you can go to the patient here, select the patient, yeah, select, search the patient from here, or select one of the recently opened. Uh, patients is for instance is the patient we want to book now so you can go to calendar if you click here on the available slot the patient is already pre-filled and let's say it's coming from an examination so we can save the appointment is this is the calendar basically every column is a different doctor uh, you can jump for today or or you can see day day view or week view um, you can uh, draw a line, it means that is currently, is now. You can move date from here, you can jump to date by clicking this bar, or we can go back to today by pressing this. Okay, so it's three o'clock, as um, we are waiting for this patient to come. And if you want to uh, manage the reception, you go here. Uh, currently, there are two appointments for today for this doctor, and under reception, there are two appointments on this column. Um, this column is to the appointments. This column is in who is waiting room, and this column is under treatment and the treatment completed. So this is our checkout. So three o'clock, uh, we are waiting for uh, this patient to come for an exam. This is the doctor, and this is the surgery where he needs to go. So let's move the patient. Let's say the patient arrived. Let's move it into waiting room. Now the patient is there waiting uh, for us. Now these two icons tell us that this is a new patient, so there's no any there's no um, registration form or, or or term term and condition signed or anything that has been filled by the signed by the the, uh, the patient. And this is the medical history uh, has never been done or is is older compared to the. Um, what's in the policy uh, store and the policy so it may be older who has, has, has never been done so let's see how to collect the signature um, from here on the, uh, the practice so if you press the reception task you can open this into a tablet and uh, we need to sign the full full registration form so let's go through the process here um, the first letter is the welcome letter. Obviously, the patient needs to read it and sign. Then press next. Data privacy policy to the short. Next, and this is the patient form. Should be or oh, should be fine. Oh, this is NHS uh, patient. Uh, is under 18 years old. So here you press next. Obviously, there's the um, NHS PR to sign. You don't get all this if you are private. And medical history. So let's say, um, yes, as the guy smokes. And uh, let's say five a day. Let's sign this and press next. And GDPR consent. Now, um, this this flow can be organized as you want. You can add multiple questionnaires in between. You can add different letters. You can customize the existing letters. You can add more steps. You can remove steps. You can do everything you want. So let's press next. And the patient is saved. So if you go back, that means the icon means uh, patient has, documents has been signed. And now the medical history is updated. Okay, so uh, from the admin point of view is fine. So if you click now the name here, we can have a look, quick look of where, if you go to the timeline, you can see that uh, today, uh, this all the documentation that has been signed. For instance, the medical history uh, as a PDF, and uh, this is the PR form as a PDF, 
uh, data protection and welcome letter. It's an appointment today and here we go. This old document has been uploaded here. Now, let's say the patient is now ready to go to the uh, surgery, so we can move it to the surgery. Now, since I logged on as the doctor, um, as the doctor, same doctor as needs to see them, you can see here uh, a few information. So, if the patient is in waiting room, um, there's one person here. Obviously, if there are two persons for the same doctor in waiting room, this will be two people. Yeah. Always one. Um, if you move the patient into under treatment, and this line will tell you, uh, so this is a 15 minutes uh, appointment, so the full circle is 15 minutes, as the full line here is 15 minutes. We progress, uh, we progress, and uh, to show the um, the um, uh, visit to progress and see how long we remain. Uh, to complete a visit and see the next uh, the next the next patient so the doctor now what we can do is he can click the name here and jump into the um, patient uh, details so if you can go here you can put several notes let's say patient uh, is, uh, is nervous and we can turn the post-it in, 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 the, in the summary line as, as, as red so if you save it now and go back you can see that there's a red post-it here when the patient is nervous. So, um, doctor can review the medical history. So last update time data is is today, and patient has entered five days. Uh, doctor can enter details. Uh, this is not visible to the patient. Yeah, so the doctor can enter any, anything he wants here and save it. Now, since this question is linked to a, 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 um, an icon here, so uh, this bar will always tell us who's the patient, the age, who's the doctor in charge, if it's private or NHS, and the warning, medical warning signs here. So in this case, is the patient uh, is smoking, so there's a uh, cigarette here, and then there's a description of the um, of the uh, critical warning. Uh, if if you want to add a flashing notes, you can have, for instance, if it's really bad. So let's lay it We can save it, and we have this flash icon to remind us that patient is allergic to uh, something, or as a critical information, you want to show that. Let's take it out. Um, now, uh, you want to do the visit, so you go to the chart. So this is a new patient, and the chart starts with a full denture. So what you can do is, uh, what you can do is, you can start the base conditions, like for instance, uh, sorry, this is missing, uh, upper right is missing, upper left is missing, let's say all these are missing, or this one is present, but is imparted or dissolved. So you can set this, and you can see that is uh, impacted. What we can say is maybe there's a decay here. Yeah, and let's say this is uh, is primary, and uh, that's what else we can do. We can say, oh, this is pretty bad condition. We can put a watch sign here. Uh, patient reported is aching, so we can uh, put a sign here. Uh, in case you want to do multiple uh, selection, you can drag over like this and do uh, and select whatever is. For instance, let's see this, this part is missing. Yeah. Um, okay, this is our best conditions. Now let's say we want to uh, start the treatments. So to start the treatments, we move from condition to treatments here. And then we select the same surfaces, and then let's see, uh, is a we do a composite um, uh, filling. Now, this patient patient is an NHS patient, but composite filling is is done privately because uh, it's not part of NHS um, treatment. Allow, um, yeah, treatments are allowed by the NHS, so uh, automatically the system will put a composite filling into uh, a treatment a private treatment plan. 
price is taken from the price list and it is under settings let's say we want to charge now for examination examination since the patient is nhs will create a new plan and say that his examination is 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 under nhs let's say we took an x-ray as well so we have now an x-ray under under um, um nhs plan as well um we have a uh, this this patient is uh, under 18 so he's exempt there's an x here so the trouble it will be zero yeah um now let's say the exam is completed now we can take uh, our clinical notes there are several ways to do the clinical notes first thing is you can select a a, a text predefined text and then fill it in manually second type is you select from a quick a quick quick template quick template is all the options are listed here so you can just simply select instead of typing and if there are notes you need to type them or you can save them or you can dictate the notes by yeah. so you can you can dictate uh, the notes and the notes will, uh, will be turned into text and saved and saved here okay um let's say um sorry let's say that we finish the plan so we want to do the composite filling uh let's say we can do it um the date schedule can be uh, next week yeah and uh, there are 200 pounds to collect so basically this information are going is going back to the uh, receptionist let's say for the moment we finished uh, the examination on the reception so we are nearly halfway of the examination so is um, patient can be sent back to, um, to the reception here yeah, and the receptionist can have a look at what the fish what the um, um, checkout is so next appointment is on the 23rd and we can issue the bill for oh we haven't finished the hold on uh, yes uh, oh since it's not finished the, the treatment is not finished well, obviously there's nothing to pay for the moment uh, otherwise it will it will um, put the total here that we need to collect and then it, from here you can issue the bill and then you can mark the the the, the, the treatment as, as as paid as well from here uh, next appointment is on the 23rd so we go there and then the appointment is here obviously you can drag it here and drop uh, here and then to create a new appointment um, and once everything is done we can remove the patient from uh, the um, list of the patients for the day there are several other things you can do here for instance you can manage uh, referrals here so if you click one of the referral you can see the history of the referral all the documentation we receive from the referral or every uh, all the documentation we send out to the referral uh this exam here so you can obviously uh, have a look at the clinical notes everything is recorded under the timeline here this is the full history of the patient but if you want to see just the notes are here you can record the full periodontal exam from here or you can record a bpe from here save it uh, you can fill out the forms uh, here so all the forms uh, you can add forms here uh, through the settings and templates uh, so you can add your custom forms here so you can something like um, let's say case mix questionnaire you can you can uh, have a form like this where you can you can uh, fill uh, the answer and see it and see it close it um, you can send messages out or emails you can come from template for instance you can attach a receipt a receipt will, will will appear here or you can say let's say we want to send a financial statement um, financial statement as a template um, an email template already prepared here under settings you can customize the, the templates 
and then you can see I'm attaching the financial statement for the past 30 days and send it over to the patient. We can also send text messages from here and and that's it for the patient. Um, the system allows you to record some tasks. So for instance, uh, if the doctor says we the latex gloves are finishing, we can ask the nurse, please buy and then if you save it obviously there's a new task here and then assign it to the to this person and obviously you can move uh, the, the the task in progress or you know on old or is it when it's finished you can put and un done so the the the, the, the uh, person who has issued the um task you can always uh, check back uh, the status of the task uh, last thing I want to show is this is the um, is the dashboard um, uh, is the report section of the software KPIs are on top uh, practice performance is here in the middle you can always get the list or print or download as an Excel um, you can have a look at the, for instance, the production. So you can have a look at the treatments that has been done um, on the current on the current period, and you you see you see uh, the period is over here. It's for the day. You can change the period by changing the sliders here or selecting the new period here. And uh, on the bottom, you can find there are. Uh, NHS reports here if you're if you are in a NHS practice and your custom queries can be created here and and you can see the um, the content of the the query the last thing is uh, we have an instant messaging service here so you can you can uh, send a message to all or send a message to a specific person you can say hi from me and you press the send button messages will appear here will stack up from here you can always have you always have a panic button here to send a panic message to uh, everybody in the clinic yeah I believe this was a really short uh, overview of the system we have plenty more features here um, well uh, thanks thanks for watching